Hello everyone, welcome to Anilon Nepal. Today's video is about the Newton's Raphson method of root finding or generally said Newton's method. Newton's method formulation is x1 equals to x0 minus fx0 by f dash x0. Or in more general form, we can write xn plus 1 equals to xn minus fxn by f dash xn or we can write xi plus 1 equals to xi minus fxi by f dash xi. Where putting different values of n or i in those above equations, we can get x1, x2 and goes on. Let's take a simple form for demonstration. x1 equals to x0 minus fx0 by f dash x0. And try to understand the concept behind this. For the information, x0 is the approximated root, which is starting value to find the root f is the function and f dash is the derivative of that function and x1 is the calculated root. That means first we have to provide the approximated root then using functional value and derivative of that function at that root we get x1 as our new root which is more closer to the actual root. Now using x1 we repeat the process and find x2. Our formula becomes x2 equals to x1 minus fx1 by f dash x1. This way we get more and more closer to the root. We do this calculation until we get root of our desired accuracy. Let's understand this process using the graphical method. Suppose this is a graph of function fx. We can clearly see the position of root, which is the value of x at which curve curves the x-axis. Now let's approximate value x0 as an approximated root. Then we see the corresponding point x0, fx0 on the curve. Now we draw a tangent to a curve at that point. This tangent cuts the x-axis at a point x1, 0 where x1 is another close approximation to the root. Now we use x1 to repeat the process. That means we now draw a tangent to the curve at point x1, fx1. This tangent cuts the x-axis at new point and x2 is our new approximated root. And we repeat the process until we get our desired precision. Now let's see how that formula can be derived from this process. Here x0 is our approximated root. The point x0, fx0 is the corresponding point on the curve. The equation of tangent at that point is y minus fx0 equals to f dash x0 x minus x0. But this tangent cuts the x-axis at x1, 0. So substituting the value 0 minus fx0 equals to f dash x0 x1 minus x0 and on solving we get x1 equals to x0 minus fx0 by f dash x0 then we can write x2 equals to x1 minus fx1 by f dash x1 and on generalizing xn plus 1 equals to xn minus fxn by f dash xn or xi plus 1 equals to xi minus fxi by f dash xi on different values of n or i we get different values of x we also can use Taylor expansion to prove this formula. Let's write Taylor series expansion of function fx at point a. We have fx equals to fa plus x minus a f dash a. We have to find the root that is value of x for which fx equals to 0. So 0 equals to fa plus x minus a f dash a. On solving we can write x equals to a minus fa by f dash a. So a is the approximated root here and x is the calculated root. On generalizing we can write xi plus 1 equals to xi minus fxi by f dash xi. In both ways we can derive the formula for Newton's Raphson method. Now let's understand the error in this case. We find relative error as absolute value of x1 minus x0 by x1. Then we check this error with the tolerance value after each iteration of Newton's method. If we get an error less than our tolerance value, then we get our root as the calculated root. Otherwise, we repeat the process. So this way, newton raphson method works. This video ends here. If you have any question, write down in the comment section below. And in the next video, we will write photon code for Newton's raphson method.